Hey everybody! Today, Rado previews a prototype of the Matchbox Collection game 15 Days. But before I get going, please turn your subtitles on to the Klingon channel so that when I make rules goofs, you'll know what they are. And if you've done that, then welcome to Eastern Asia, I guess. I'm not really quite sure. This is a fairly abstract game, but let me give you an idea of what's going on here. Natural phenomena has been having odd behavior. The seasons have been disrupted and animals are migrating in the wrong direction. The 24 East Asian traditional solar terms are out of sync. And we've got to get them back in order uh, to bring order to all living things. Okay, I'm not quite sure what that means. I don't know why we... I guess we have 15 days to do it. I'm not quite sure anything. This is a pretty abstract set collection card game. And here's the way it works, folks. Uh, you start with two cards in your hand, and you've got this card over here that you are going to be trying to play straights to. That's what we're trying to do. Get a straight of numbers 1 through 6 in each of the four suits, uh, which is seasons. I do know that. There's the orange, which is spring. The brown is summer. Summer suit, the green is the autumn suit, and the blue is the winter suit. We're trying to make one through six in each of those spreading out from this central card. That's what I'm trying to do. That's what Jen's trying to do. And we do that by drafting and playing cards. So here is my starting hand. I have got a uh, five autumn card and a number four spring card. And on my turn, I'm going to do two actions. And I've got a few different things I can choose from. The actions are, I can for an action, I can draw two cards blind from either of these stacks and uh, add them to my hand. Or, as an action, I can draw one face-up card. So I don't have to gamble with what I'm getting. Although I have to either draw from the, discard, the top of the discard pile or the uh, high card on any of these three stacks. So if I want to get to that, i got to get these out of the way first. Third thing I can do is I can play cards to my area trying to create those straights that will win me the game. And the fourth thing I can do is I can potentially discard cards to get wild cards, which are very powerful. Now, I'll worry about that a little bit later because I won't be able to do it for a bit. So, what am I going to do? Well, like I said, I want to make straights. And right now, since I've already got a spring and a autumn card, I want to get more spring and autumn cards so I can make straights in those suits. And so if I look, there's a winter card. There's an autumn card, and there's a summer card. So, for starters, what the heck? My first of two actions is I'm going to take one face-up card. I will take this. Now I've got an autumn three and an autumn five. If I get an autumn one, two, uh, four, and six, I'll be very, very happy about that. So now I've exposed this. My second action, I could take any of those. But I want to get more of these uh, autumn cards, these green cards. So I'm going to take two cards. Remember, if you draw a blind, you get to take two. I'll take this one because I suspect it's likely this will be another green autumn card. Now, I can't be certain. There is a one in five chance that this autumn card is actually a spring card. Because interestingly, um, spring doesn't have any of it, it doesn't have its own suit of cards. You can tell from the card back. It's just that spring cards are hidden amongst the other suits. So there's a four and five chance this is actually a green card, but it could be an orange card. So remember, when I draw blind, I get to draw two. So I'm taking this and okay, hey, I'm I'm happy with that. That's a three, four, five, and I get to draw another one. So I could take uh, this winter, or I could take this summer. And remember, it's likely this is a winter or summer, but I'm hoping it's actually a spring, so I could start working on more cards for that. Um, what the heck? Well, you know what? Looking at Jen, I don't know what she's got, but I can see she has a winter card. I'll go on in and take this, because maybe she wants it. And it is a winter card. It's a purpley blue winter card. It's a number two. My turn is over. I did two actions. I took a, 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 my first action, I took a face up. And then my second action, I took two face downs. It is now Jen's turn. And let's see what she's got. Oh my gosh. Unbeknownst to me, I thought she has winter cards and a winter and an autumn card. Uh uh. Surprise. She actually has two twos, two spring cards. So she wants more spring cards as well. And, um,. Again, if she tries to blow, draw a blind, there's a 1 in 5 chance that either of these cards are spring. But on the other hand, Jen can see those right there. She wants to get those. So the first thing, she's going to draw um, knowingly. She'll take this. And uh, for her second turn, she will take this. Alrighty. So that's that. 
And by the way, folks, we do have a hand size of five. I have hit my hand size, so I cannot draw any more cards. So it's going to be time for me in this second round to start playing them. As a single action, I can play as many cards as I want and that I can afford because there is a cost. Um, I For every card I want to play during this playing card action, I have to discard one or two cards from my hand, depending on how it goes. Let's start playing. Now, personally, I would like to have a six or a one and a two before I start playing this straight. But I don't, I don't see them. I see another four and a five here, which I've already got those, so I don't even need them. So, I don't quite have what I want, but I'm going to start playing anyway. Because remember, I've got to. I, my hand size is full. So, I will go on ahead and start out playing my... I will play my first um, autumn card. It's a green five. And now, if you look a little bit more closely at this card, you can see there's a one and so on. A one and an ellipse. One and an ellipse. Six and an ellipse. Six and an ellipse. What this is saying is, the straight that I start growing in this direction has to ascend. One, two, three, four, five, six. The straight that I start going in this direction has to descend. Six, five, four, three, two, one. So, since I'm playing something that's close to a six, I'm going to put this right here. I have started counting down. This is from now on. If I play any more Autumn cards, I will play them to this straight, and I want them to count downwards. So I started with a five, and Whenever you play a the first card of a given season, or you play the top card onto a given straight of a season, you have to discard one card. That is an efficient way to go. Now, I, to play this, I have to discard a card. I don't have any particular use for winter cards right now. I'm just going to discard this. This is what I'm paying to play this. Boom. And now, if somebody wanted a winter card, hey, it's suddenly sitting on top of the discard pile. They could get on their turn. Now, remember, I'm still in my first action. I can play as many cards as I want. I want to keep filling out this straight. So I'm going to go on ahead and play this four. And because it is the next card in sequential order, I have to, again, discard a card to play this. So I'll discard this spring card that maybe was going to work for me, maybe wasn't. Now, I've got another card. It's a three. I would like to play that. But I've got no more cards in my hand, so I can't play anymore. So my playing action is done. Now, here's a funky thing. Let's say, you know, I, pl I played my first card. And then let's say, for example, I didn't have this four. Let's say I had this purple three. And I still want to play cards. I could go on ahead and play this three. And that's fine. Um, and But now, I've created a gap. I've actually got two gaps here. Um, from the 6, I'm, I'm missing a 6, and I'm missing a 4. Later on, let's say I got the 4 I need. Hey, there's a 4 right there. Later on, I got the 4. If I want to play this 4 and I want to slip it into position between existing cards in my straight, I can do it, but I have to discard 2 cards instead of 1. So that's why when you're playing these cards, uh, you all, I think this was here, you always want to disc, you always want to play them in order so that you don't have to pay extra later on. And that's why I'm very, very happy that I was able to play a four. I only had to pay one. Oops, sorry. I only had to pay one. And now later on, uh, with a single card, I'll be able to play this here. And then I'm going to want to play a two and then a one beyond that. And um, and I also, eventually, I'm going to want to play a green six as well. And when I play that green six, because I'm having to slip it in between this and this, I'll have to pay two cards. It'll be more expensive. But anyway, so that was my first action. I played some cards. I'm down to one in my hand. For my second action, I think I'll start refilling cards. Um, right. So, and if I take this spring card, then immediately three new cards will come out face up. And this is interesting. If I take this spring card, if this doesn't get covered up, I could get this spring card later. Or, you know what? I could get this spring card back. So my second action, I took one face up card. There we go. That was my turn. My first action, I played as many cards as I could afford. My second action, I took a face-up card. Done. Jen's turn. Okay. So she hasn't hit her hand size yet. She could keep drawing. And I think she will. She will go on ahead and take this spring. And, and she was kind of salivating when she saw I discarded this four. And I didn't know she had all these springs. She so wanted that. But then she was very disappointed when I took it back. All right. So Jen will go on ahead and take this. And like I said, as soon as this happens, we are going to have to refill... And I'm not sure, the rules don't make this clear, but I believe we can refill from either stack. So um, Jen has taken one card, she's got another turn, but first she has to refill. Uh, she doesn't have any use for winter cards right now, so she'll refill from here. And then, or I'm, uh, then there's an autumn card. All right. Ew, what the heck? She'll go ahead and do that. 
Although, actually, that's not necessarily a good idea because Jen could see I want these. But anyway, and so now, either way, it's going to be a winter card. She'll go ahead and do this one. Alrighty, so, and unfortunately, these were what they appeared to be. No surprise spring cards came out as she was refilling. So Jen has done one action. Jen is at her hand size limit. She's going to have to start playing cards just like I did. And so, nicely, she's got a one, two, three. So this is a little bit nicer for her. She will uh, play, uh, she'll get rid of this four to play that. And then she wants to play a two. And since she's in perfect order, she has to get rid of something. And hey, she's got two. She never needs to put another... In fact, she cannot put another two in this straight. So she will use this other two she has. She'll toss that to be able to play that. And now she's got one card left in her hand. So Jen is doing a little bit better than me. She's starting to do an ascending straight for her spring cards. She's got her next one. And she hasn't created any gaps. Nice. Okay. So it is my turn again. And... All right, I would like to get this into play. I would very much like to get this into play. So, once again, I am going to... First of all, I'm going to start playing cards. And now, I'm not going to be very efficient, because I've only got two cards in hand. It'd be better for me to wait until I've got a whole bunch of cards in hand so that I could do a bigger action. But, hmm, this two came out. If I took this two, I could start working on collecting spring cards. But if I took that, then what would I want? Um, oh! Hey, no. Yeah, and there's no spring cards out, so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to start playing. So, I, I'm, I'm, for my first action I'm going to play, I'm going to get this three into play, and I had to discard something. And Jen says, oh my gosh, it's back. She hopes it sticks around this time. Okay. So, I literally have no more cards in my hand, so that was a less efficient turn at playing cards. My first of two actions is over, but something very important has happened. As soon as you have three cards in a straight, and they don't have to be perfect, it could be a 2, 5, 6, or a 1, 3, 4, or whatever. Uh, although, in this case, it is. It's a 3, 4, 5, that is perfect. As soon as you have three in a straight, uh, the first player to do it gets to claim the spirit animal in that color. I have just had the frog join my team. And that means as long as I can hold on to this frog, I have this special power. And this special power is, from now on, it costs me one less card every time I want to play to one of my straights. Unfortunately, I don't have anything more to play, but that is an incredibly huge power. And I'm going to hold on to this until such time as Jen makes a green, or a uh, autumn straight, as long as mine, in which case she'll take it away from me. All right. So anyway, that was my first action. I've got that. And now I'll be able to start playing stuff at a discount. So that'll be nice. For my second action, what do I want to do? Well, I got nothing in my hand, so I'm going to just grab. So I could grab a single face up, or I could drop, grab two face down. I can see there's a whole bunch of winter out here. So let's go on ahead and draw two face down, because I can see there's a winter. And, uh, all right. Well, I'm going to get a brown either way. Let's go on ahead and take this. And I got a winter, and I got a summer card. Okay. So, and this is a four. That four will go very nicely with this six, this five, and this three. Oh, I want to get all of those. But anyway, that'll come later. That was my turn. The froggy is mine! And it means it will be cheaper for me to get these cards into play from now on. That's huge. Okay, Jen's turn. She's got this lone three. She wants to get this into play. But the first thing Jen's going to do is, this time I didn't return it. Jen's going to snag that four. So now Jen's got an even longer straight. And what is Jen going to do? That was her first action. Her second action, she could start playing. She'd have to discard this to get this, but uh-uh. Jen wants to get some more cards so she can play these. She just needs two cards. She'll go on ahead and take a brown, which turns out to be a brown. It wasn't a surprise orange, and she'll take another brown. And all right, so that was it for her. It is my turn again. And what am I going to do now? All right, well, remember, I want to get some more of these winter cards. And I can only take them one at a time. So let's go on ahead, and I'm, I'm going to draw this six. And my, I'm going to draw this five. I'm just spending a little bit of time building up. Although, interestingly, as an action, I can now start playing with my frog at a discount, which means I can play cards for free if they're in sequential order. That is huge. Uh, but I didn't. I mean, right now, I'm just trying to collect some stuff. So that was a pretty quick turn for me. I want to get this three next turn. Okay, Jen's turn. And... Right. So Jen wants to... Because once Jen gets her third spring card, she'll get the spring ability. The otter will join her side, which increases her hand from five to eight. And that could be huge as well. Um, let's see. And I think I think Jen will. Jen is first her direction. She's going to play a three and a four. And she'll discard these two cards to do it. She can do it in either order. 
And she can see there's other browns out there. She might be getting them later. But what the heck, she'll just go like this. She played those to get those. And the otter spirit has joined her. Her hand size is now eight. You saw how at the beginning of the game, we were both bumping up against that five hands limit. Now Jen doesn't have to worry about it anymore. So for her second action, she'll start drawing. And she'd rather draw two instead of one. So she'll get two, hopefully, matching brown cards. Oh, it's a spring card. And it's a spring card Jen doesn't need because she's already played her two. And now, although this three will work well with this two and this four and that six. And remember, right below it, there's another three. So you might think this is terrible. Jen can't use these. Well, remember, she can use she can spend these to put, get cards into play. But also, if Jen ever has in her hand two cards that she has already successfully played, she can discard both of them as an action. This is the fourth type of action. Discard both of them to get a wild card and immediately slip it into any empty hole she needs to fill. Uh, you know, like I, you know, I've got uh, this empty hole here where I need to get a six in, as an example. So, uh, Jen, first of all, she played some stuff, and then second, she started refilling her hand, and now her hand size can go up to eight. All right, back to me. Um, my hand size is still five. I feel like I should. All right, my first action, I'm going to go ahead and get this three. I'm happy it stuck around. And if Jen were paying attention, she might have taken that to prevent because she could see how much I want all these because she could have always used this just to play stuff. I'm happy she left it. Now, for my second action. I am going to get to play some cards. And now, I could keep going, but I think that gives you a pretty good idea of the ebb and flow of the game. It's going to keep going until one player has successfully gotten all of their, all five, four seasons completely into play, or when one of these two stacks ends. And then we do final scoring, where you get points for your longest successful string. So if you had left any gaps, that means you're leaving points behind. Also, you get points for whichever animals you control at the end of the game. And throughout the game, of course, these animals, as players start getting more power, they are going to change hands quite a bit. Because I've shown you two of the four powers, the increase your hand size and the discount for building. But the other ones are, if you have the beaver, I believe it's a beaver, look at that big old tail, whenever you would draw two cards a blind, instead you get to draw three. And the uh, rabbit is, whenever you would draw face-up cards, instead of only one at a time, you get to draw two at a time. So with these powers, you can really start filling your hand up very, very quickly. And this increases your hand size, and this just lets you play cards quicker. Uh, but then you need to start refilling your hand all the quicker. So that, folks, should give you an idea of what 15 days is all about. And if you want to hit some final thoughts, you can hit that eye in the top right corner of the screen, or you can also go to a playlist where I uh, have run-throughs of the other four games in this Matchbox Collection series. Either way, it's your choice in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.